Hello, this is Angela Banderka with Hawaiian Painting Tours. I'm gearing up for a trip to Kona, Hawaii on the Big Island this February. And I wanted to show you the gear that I'm taking and how I'm gonna pack it in my suitcase. All right, so at the most, I would I would wanna take between six and, and a dozen tubes of paint. With acrylic, I have to take the tubes with me when I travel. So I usually will grab the smaller tubes, not the bigger ones like those. And then I can add a couple of optional colors here and there as, as needed. Sometimes you need those for a tropical location. Once I start to put them into my suitcase, I make sure I print out the MSDS safety data information sheet. You can get that online. And I'll just label a Ziploc bag with fine art materials just using a marker and place everything inside of there. That way, if anybody at the TSA or anybody else goes through your luggage wondering what those supplies are, they have it written down exactly how safe they are to travel with. Zip them up and just throw them in your luggage. I'm gonna bring an Arches watercolor hot pressed pad. This is gummed on all four sides, so I don't have to stretch anything. I don't have to glue anything down. I can just put this right onto my palette, or sorry, right onto my easel and just start painting. I'll always prep that surface first with a gesso and I'll show you that in a moment. But this is great because it's just a little bit open on one side. I can take my palette knife, just run it around, peel this off. And if the painting works out really well, I can just adhere it to either a panel or a canvas and then frame it. I'm going to bring a wide mouth plastic jar. I just got this online at, uh, yeah, you can get this at Amazon or anywhere. And basically this is just going to allow me to put my water in it uh, for when I'm painting. And then I can put that lid right back on it and dispose of it properly once I get back to the hotel or wherever I'm staying. For paper towels, I just like these shop towels, these blue towels. They're really, really helpful. Um, they last a very long time. And so I'll just take them off the roll and then just stack them together like so, roll them up and stuff them down inside my water container. And that just takes up a lot less room in my suitcase. So anything small you have like that, you could throw in there as well. If you had a small tube of gesso, you could throw that in there. For my palette, I prefer a disposable palette on the road because I can easily just clean it up and throw it away. This one here, this is made by Bee Paper. It's actually gummed on two edges. So the paper won't fly away when you get a strong wind, whereas a lot of disposable pallets are only gummed on one edge. So a wind will blow up that paper. So I really like that B paper. If you can't find it at your um, local art supply store, ask them to bring it in or get it online. Now my gesso, I, I prefer a clear gesso. This is made by Liquitex. I think there is another brand out there. What I like about this gesso, and gesso is spelled G-E-S-S-O, is that it has a nice little grit to it. So it's a great surface for grabbing the paint and creating a really nice dry brush effect. Because I like to do things as efficiently as possible and take up as the least amount of room in my luggage as I can, I'll get that gesso and I'll actually add some fluid acrylic paint in the color of my choice. I personally go for naphthol red light, which is a warm red. And in thin coats, this will go on kind of a warm pinky red color. Now that can be more difficult, so it, you don't feel like you have to go with a red surface. You can stick with your white surface. You can just use the clear gesso on your white surface. You'll be good to go. Or you can tone it with a very light gray or a very light tan. That might be a better way to go if you're a beginner. Plastic bags, I'll usually grab some cheap garbage bags and then I'll just roll those up and have at least one per day of painting in my suitcase or get them when you arrive at your location. For my easel, I have this nice little travel easel. It's aluminum, very lightweight. And I just take this in my bag. You can see it just fits in here. And this will actually fit in my carry-on luggage. So it's quite small. There's a lot of different travel easels out there that you can choose from. And I have a blog post about that. And um, I will send that to you guys in the description here as well. Brushes. There's many different types of brush holders. This one here is slightly stiff. Um, you can get ones that roll up. Any of those are fine. Just keep the brushes um, in nice condition. And I personally like a filbert. A filbert is kind of flattened, but it has a rounded edge. It gives me a really nice dry brush when I run it across the canvas. 
I have sizes on my uh, my supply sheet, but sizes are really tricky because they can really vary by manufacturer. Personally, I like these Connoisseur Pure Synthetic Filberts. Um, they're a, an inexpensive but really good quality brush. And as long as you have a large filbert, a medium-sized filbert, like this is a 4 and a 10, and then maybe a smaller filbert, for example, now I've got a 2 here as well, and then maybe even one round brush. It could be a liner brush like this where the bristles are long, or it can be just a regular round brush that you might find anywhere. I like these brushes, the round brushes in there, because this is what I do, what I use for signing and for drawing. And then these filberts I use for everything else. But you don't have to have 20 different brushes. As long as you've got four or five good solid brushes, that's all you really need. So I'll put those back in, and those will just go into my luggage as well. Now, one extra thing that I would like to show you guys to bring with you, um, I personally like to bring gloves. I like to keep my hands clean as I'm working. So I just go to Costco and buy these Nitrile Exam gloves, and I'll just take these out of the box and just stuff them into that little water receptacles I showed you before. And an essential is a hat. Um, we've got hats available. You're welcome to purchase one from us as well as uh, bring your own, whatever works for you. And then of course sunscreen. That's a really important thing. Trust me guys, I have learned the hard way. So those are the main things I'm going to take with me. Now I'm going to show you real quick how I'll put those into my suitcase. I have a suitcase right here as you can see. All I'm going to do is I have some clothes in here to, to give you an example. So I might start with my travel easel. I'm going to take my clothes out for now because the travel easel is pretty sturdy. I can put that on the bottom of that suitcase. And if it needs to go on a bit of an angle, that's fine. Now what I'll do next is I'll take my water receptacle and throw that in somewhere probably along the bottom. And then I will grab my paints, including my gesso, which I'll make sure I put all of these types of tubes, anything that's liquid, into a plastic bag. So I'll grab the, the paint and all that. I'll maybe start putting some clothes in around what I've got in there. Make sure everything's kind of protected from each other. I'll grab some of those plastic bags and stuff those in with some of my gloves. Make sure my hat is in there. And then once I've got everything in there, including my paper, I'll make sure this flat stuff goes in on top, along with my brushes, and then my toiletries. Zip it up, and I'm ready to go. Okay guys, that's everything I'm bringing. Now don't stress out about it. If you don't have all that gear, you don't have to run out and buy everything. Akamai Art Supply is our partner on Kona, and they have all that gear and more. And we also at HawaiianPaintingTours.com have bags and hats that you can purchase. So don't stress, just come enjoy the beautiful sunshine in Kona, Hawaii this February. See you then.